As per the data by government, more than 2 crore taxpayers in the age group of 18 to 35 years had filed their income tax returns in the financial year 2022 and 2023. Hello everyone my name is Shanavas and I welcome you all to the Friday first cut in the budget of 2023 government has announced that income up to rupees 7 lakhs would be tax free now this is along with the standard deduction of rupees 50000 under the new tax regime which will basically means that any income up to the extent of rupees 7.5 lakhs would be tax free for salaried persons but if you look at the old tax regime though the income up to rupees 5 lakhs is exempt from tax but still you can claim a lot of deductions to save tax so in this video we will talk about the major deductions which could be utilized to save tax and reduce your taxable liability the first major section that could be utilized to save taxes is section 80c Under this section investors can claim a deduction up to the extent of rupees 1.5 lakhs every financial year for investment made in avenues such as public provident fund national savings certificate sukanya samriddhi yojana tax saving fixed deposits and equity linked saving schemes but before investing investors should be aware of the risk appetite and lock in period of these various investment instruments and investors should never make investment decisions just to save taxes they should also consider the financial goals before investing their money into these tax saving options to claim deduction up to the extent of rupees 1.5 lakhs under section 80c the second major deduction that could help taxpayers to save taxes is under section 80d this section allows tax payers to claim a deduction up to the extent of rupees 25000 for the medical insurance premiums paid for themselves their spouse and dependent children an additional deduction is also available up to the extent of rupees 25000 for the premiums paid for payments by the tax payers and in case the age of the parents is above 60 years the limit of deduction increases to rupees 50000 the third major deduction that we are going to discuss is section 80e which is related to interest paid on education loans tax payers are allowed to claim a deduction on the interest paid on education loans that they have taken for themselves their spouse their children or student for whom they are legal guardians the interesting part about section 80 deduction is there is no upper capping on the same you can claim the amount of deduction that depends on the interest paid for the prepayment of your education loan but you have to keep in mind that you can only claim the deduction for only 8 years The another major section that can help you to save tax is section 24B. According to this section, if an individual has taken a loan for the purchase or construction of a house property, he or she can claim a deduction on the interest part paid on the loan. The maximum amount of deduction that is allowed to be claimed under this section is rupees 2 lakhs per financial year regardless of the actual amount that you have paid on the loan. However, the deduction is subject to certain conditions such as completion of the construction or acquisition of a property within a specified time and also whether the house or the property is being used for self occupation or rental purposes. Additionally, if the property is let out, the entire amount of interest could be claimed as a deduction without any limit. The last major deduction that we will discuss to save on taxes is HRA which stands for house rent allowance. House rent allowance is a component of the salary package provided by the employer to the employee to meet the expenses of rent paid for the accommodation. HRA is generally taxable as a part of the employee's income but income tax in India provides certain deductions under section 10 sub section 13a for HRA that could be claimed by salaried persons the deduction allowed for HRA under the income tax act can be calculated by considering the lowest of the three amounts actual HRA received from the employer rent paid minus 10% of the basic salary plus DNS allowance 50% of the salary if the employee stays in a metro city or 40% if the employee stays in a non metro city at last to claim the deduction employee should be staying in a rented accommodation and must be paying rent for the same so these were just the few out of the many deductions that could be helped to save taxes under the old tax regime you can find a complete list of all the deductions that could help you to save taxes and reduce your taxable liability by visiting our knowledge section on www.fintu.in thank you so much for watching this video and for more such informative videos do subscribe to our youtube channel